Hello everyone, my name is Jacqueline Medina and since this is my first video, let's go over a quick introduction about who I am. I am 14 years old, I was born and raised in California. I live in a very, very small house. I'm currently in 8th grade and I will be attending a high school of applied math and science which shall not be named because I don't want people stalking me. So another thing about me which explains the title of this video is I'm a Disney addict. The reason I made this video is to tell people why Disney isn't just for kids, like because it's not. Walt Disney himself said it, okay? So just calm down. Okay, so sit down everyone. Little children just sit because I'm about to tell you why Disney isn't just for kids. First of all, let's start with what people tell me. So you should be like, oh Jackie, you like Disney, but you're like 14. Why do you like, well, you know what? Shh. You know what? I honestly think that people who do like Disney and are adults, it's just, you know what? Someone flew them to Neverland, Peter, and now they're just stuck there in Neverland and they can't get back. They can't come back to Earth. So now they're stuck there being Disney addicts. It's not a bad thing. It's, uh, it, does it sound like I'm saying it's a bad thing? No, it's a wonderful thing. It's wonderful. Disney's not bad. It's great. It's amazing. I, I'm actually going to be honest right now. I love Disney more than what I loved it from ever since I was a little kid. Okay? When I was little, my parents, I had like, I have right now a huge stack of v Disney VHS. I have like Hercules, Lady and the Tramp, Lady and the Tramp 2, Cinderella 2, because Cinderella I have it on DVD. What else do I have? I don't know. Um, A Bug's Life in Spanish, Toy Story, Toy Story 2. It's, okay, I can name all of them, but I would be here spending like three minutes just on that. Like Cinderella, she was never mean to anyone after everything they did to her. Was she ever mean? No. She was never mean back to them. Never ever. The, how mean were the stepsisters and stepmother to her? They were horrible. Horrible. Lady Tremaine is... Mm, I'd say it, but I'm not allowed to. But Lady Tremaine is just like throwing little, like burning pixie dust over here. And Cinderella is just like, okay, oh yeah, I'll clean this, I'll clean that. When she tells her she can't go to the ball, she's like, she doesn't say anything like, no, I want to go to the ball, and I'm not gonna clean because you're gonna let me go to the ball anyway. No, she said she didn't say anything. She's like, okay, I'll clean, and then I'll go to the ball. And when she didn't clean, she was like, I guess I'm not going. She never said no. That's something I really admire because it's like, she didn't complain. She didn't whine like a lot of people do now. I know I do it and I try not to because of her. And I've noticed I do it a lot less now. Except right now because right, this is a complaint, a complaint not whining. So let's bring up another example. Princess Jasmine beautiful beautiful princess she had every right to marry a rich prince who could like give her money and stuff and she didn't because she was looking for something more not just money she was looking for something on the inside and when she found prince ali she gave him a chance she still gave him the chance because she saw something in him she wasn't just looking for money she was looking for character for personality someone who would actually love her not just her money and who didn't just want a title sultan because when Ali found out that he was going to be Sultan, he actually panicked. He didn't want it. Imagine that. You didn't want to be called a Sultan? So like, and how humble is he? And Princess Jasmine like looked, loved that. Okay? There's another example. Be humble and look for something more than beauty or whatever's on the outside. Look for the inside. That's all I'm saying. See, that's why Disney is good for adults because, and older people, because as a little child, you're just like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? Oh no, what if they don't get together? No, they have to get together because there's always a happy ending. Now as an adult, you're gonna be like, okay, I need to be more humble, I need to look for what's on the inside, and I need to get down to the core of whatever it is. Do you understand now? This this is like actually, actually gonna happen in your life. It's relevant. Another thing people tell me is that I'm really, really childish. But like, or they'll tell me you're childish or you're stupid and I'll be like, bruh. And then, cause those are usually the people that tell me are people that have been with me ever since preschool. And ever since preschool, I've gotten straight A's and at least five awards each year. 
So don't come up to me and be telling me that I'm stupid just because I like Disney. Because I'm pretty sure that's not true. And then they'll tell me like, oh, childish, that's the word. They call me a lot. And I'll just be like, well, you know what? You know what Walt Disney said? We're all a child at heart. And if I pay attention to those people, Lash curler. Whoa. If I pay attention to those people who tell me I'm childish, they're just as childish as me. And just because I like Disney doesn't make me childish, because if I pay attention, I'm actually more adult-like than they will ever be. That sounded really rude. I didn't mean it that way, but it's just like, at the moment, I'm really mad and... But I think that's just a problem that people are facing. Like, Disney lovers are like, so wonderful and they're such good people because they follow Disney's example. And other people are just like hating on them. But why do you gotta hate? Disney's just trying to be an entertainment service. Just like Marvel it. Well, actually Disney owns Marvel. But Marvel makes their own movies. That is true. Just so, so just like Marvel or what else? 20th Fox Century, DreamWorks. They're all trying to be entertainment studios. But just what Disney has, like... I just really like it. It's just something that appeals to me and to a lot of people and Disney is not just for kids. It's not, really, it's not, no, no, no. Disney is for everyone, everyone, not just little kids because little kids aren't gonna get the meaning that adults are going to now. So, I would like you to go home, any Disney movies that you have, watch them. Watch them with an adult-like mind and think about what the message in each movie is, what the moral, what the theme is, okay? If you don't know what the theme is, go ask your English teacher, all right? So think about the theme, the moral, and just what it's about. What are you gonna learn from that? And then go think about what you say to a Disney fan, all right? Well, that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant. Make sure you subscribe down below, comment on what you thought of my video and of a video you might want me to do next. Make sure you give it a thumbs up or just, just one. You can, I don't think you can give two. Or maybe a thumbs down. I don't know if you didn't like this video. Go ahead, give it a thumbs up. I don't know not to make these videos anymore. But, I mean, just, just comment down below if you liked it or not. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and remember, if you can dream it, you can do it. See you next time.